Here we are, our 1995 slash 2010 Stardust 20 by 90 foot, or excuse me, 20 by 95 foot wide body aluminum whole houseboat for sale. This actually has about a 19, 19, 6, 19, 8 inch beam. We are here on Norris Lake. Current slip is transferable. Someone wanted to leave it right here. Of course, we've got 23 other marinas on the lake to pick from. Uh, of course, not all of which can handle a houseboat of this size. This one is named on the house. We're here for our walkthrough video tour. The full list of specifications of this one, as well as the current asking price, is going to be found at our website, which is www.yournewboat.com. Um, it's a really easy to navigate website. If you if you found this on YouTube and haven't seen the boat listing yet, uh, just go to your address bar, type www.yournewboat.com. Probably the first thing you're going to want to hit is the Find Your New Boat button. It's right under, right under where it says yournewboat.com on the left-hand side. That's going to show you all of our inventory in order of price. And this one should be near the top of that page, of the Find Your New Boat page. And you can click into there, see the full listing, see the current asking price. Uh, we don't mention the asking price in the video tours because those prices sometimes change. Uh, before I leave the front porch, we've got some LED lights tucked under the inside, uh, the inner lip of your ceiling. We've got a uh, front canvas enclosure that was new in about 2014, 2014-2015. Uh, canvas, en canvas enclosure was new as well as the canvas upstairs. I'll mention that when we get up there. Now you heard me say this is a 95 slash 2010 model boat. In 2010 this went back to the Stardust factory and had a full refurbishment. Um, anybody that knows the houseboat market knows they were not making a lot of boats in 2010. This one uh, is basically new everything. We've got new insulated uh, exterior walls. You've got an insulated roof. You've got paint all the way around. You've got new railing upstairs, new appliances, new central heat and air system. Basically, the only thing 1995 on this boat are your engines, your generator, and the hull. Well, and I guess some of the gauges here. <laughs> all right, the um, rear view camera is, is uh, not 1995. That's newer. You've got um, vision and sound on that. I've got the sound on it now just so you can see that. That's really important on this size boat. We've got hydraulic bow and stern thrusters, a rudder angle indicator gauge, hummingbird depth finder. You can see we've got a Magnum inverter control panel. This boat has about a uh, 2800 watt inverter on it with eight batteries. That was new as of about 2015. Garmin MAP 431 GPS chart plotter. Remote spotlight, VHF radio, of course we've got your uh, MMC electronic controls. You've got a remote start for your generator. That is a 15kW West Tribute generator with about 950 hours on it. Your engines are twin Mercruiser 5.0 liter, 5.0 liter uh, V8 engines. It's your small block V8, Bravo outdrives, about 205 hours on those. Most of what you're going to see in this video tour is going to be included in this one, except for um, some of the seller's clothing, a few uh, photos, and some tools. Now that's a 55-inch JVC flat screen television mounted here in the salon. We do have a built-in Bose surround sound with the subwoofer. Here in our dining area, we've got a small granite top bar. Of course, all the granite in this was at it when it went back to the factory in 2010, as well as um, the ceiling. That's a leather ceiling, it's something you're going to see in later model boats. We'll not see that in any 1995 model boat unless it's had similar treatment as this one. Whirlpool Gold Stainless Appliances, built in under counter ice maker, and a stainless sink here in your bar area. Tile floors throughout. Tons of storage space in this one. We've got a side hallway. 
huge storage closet there. We've got two Whirlpool Gold side-by-side -side, uh, refrigerators and freezers. Ice and water in the door. I believe those are about 20, 20 cubic foot. Whirlpool Gold smooth top oven and range with a hood vent. Granite counters are, are everywhere on this boat, even in the bedrooms. Whirlpool Gold under counter stainless dishwasher, microwave. We've got uh, pots, pans, silverware, glasses, and dish set that's all going to be included with this one. Now, before I go too far, let me come back up here to the start of the kitchen area. Our first of uh, five bedrooms, four and a half, five bedrooms, is right off the port side. This is a twin size bed. There's your granite top nightstand. Got an 18 inch LG flat screen mounted here. And your first stateroom now. You We've got a full-size front-loading Whirlpool washer and dryer. Train central heat and air HVAC unit. See, that's about a four-ton unit. Again, that was new in 2010, inside and outside unit. Now, this is a double cutty. Some people are going to consider this two staterooms. Some people are going to consider this one and a half. But you do have two twin beds. Those are on um, uh, little, basically little trays or sliders. You can rearrange that. You can push them together and have a king. You can s spread them apart a little bit more than what it is now. And then you've got a walk around queen size bed. Again, built in granite top nightstands. We've got a 21 inch Samsung flat screen television here. small fan. Notice we've got some lighting under the bed, over the bed, just a lot of really cool touches on this one. You've got the same lighting just under your cabinets throughout the kitchen, really throughout the whole boat. All right, now going back, we've got a queen size stateroom here. Ceiling fan overhead, built in hanging closets and dresser drawers on either side. We've got a 32 inch Panasonic flat screen here. And then here's your first of two full baths. Very large glass tiled shower. Do have rare tan Atlantis heads. Got to light it. Countertop here. And then here's your side exit out the, out the rear of the boat. We've got double pocket doors that give you a private master stateroom king size bed here. So this would be your either your fifth stateroom. Some again, a lot of people are going to consider this four and a half or five bedrooms just because you got a large double cutty down there, but that's great if you've got um, adult children and grandkids. Again, king size bed here in the back, another 32 inch Panasonic flat screen television here. large hanging, two large hanging lockers, built-in dressers, granite tops, and then here's your master bath. It's your second full bathroom. Another rare tan head, 
large linen closet, and a second glass tiled shower. We've got four 80 gallon waste holding tanks. That's a pair of 80 gallon waste tanks for each, for each head. Four 71 gallon aluminum freshwater tanks. I wanna show you, we've got remote, um, remote blinds for the master. And we've also got those here in your side hallway. As though those are going up now. That again was added in 2010. And this one went back to the factory. So there's one more last look up toward the bow and the salon. I'm going to exit out the side door. It's an insulated side door exit. And we're going to raise our engine hatches. Again, Mercruiser 5.0 liter V8 inboard outboard stern drive engines with Volvo outdrives. About 200 hours on those. Those outdrives would have been serviced in 2010 when this one was last out of the water. 15 kW West Tribute generator, 950 hours on it. And here's your port side Mercruiser. We've got a pair of aluminum 100 gallon weight, uh, excuse me, aluminum 100 gallon fuel tanks. Here's your exterior uh, heat pump from your HVAC unit. And then we've got an auxiliary fuel pump for your personal watercraft or your dinghy. Love that storage locker there. That's great for putting water toys or ropes in. Now I've got uh, one of our PWC rails raised up just to show you. Uh, these are Divnik PWC rails. These are aftermarket rails. And what's cool about them is that whenever you're not using them, you can store it up like that and still give you full use of your swim platform. So I've left one in the down position, raised one. These are super easy to raise and lower. A little squeaky there, but that's one-handed. One-handed lower in it. Uh, it's got those large shocks on there that makes that easy for anybody to do. Now, swim boarding ladder, wet water slide. We've got LED lighting out here, um, audio speakers out here. You, you basically have audio throughout the boat. And we're going to head upstairs to your entertainment deck. This is aluminum hard sided rails. This is a big upgrade, lower maintenance. Looks really nice. Here's a look down to your wet water slide. All right, we're under a hard top here. And you'll notice there's a big console hanging down. This is a built-in 47-inch. I believe that's an LG LED HD television. And it's got a custom little box that that uh, raises up in. Just like that there. Patio furniture that you're seeing in the video is all staying with the boat. We've got double bars, three ceiling fans, here on the rooftop, a Frigidaire under counter refrigerator. It's electric fridge and another Whirlpool Gold built in ice maker. Wet bar, the other bar is all storage. Again, fan overhead. This canvas top uh, goes from uh, just forward of the flybridge all the way back to where our third level, level observation deck uh, goes. We've got four Kenwood um, arch speakers, and then we've got four weightboard tower speakers, all on this level. Two more of each on the third level. Point those out when we get there. Upholstery here was new in 2010. Actually, some of this upholstery was done in about uh, 2014, uh, 2015 when they uh, redid the canvas. 
side power thruster controls up at the flybridge also. Those are hydraulic thrusters. Instrumentation gauges, rare tan rudder angle indicator gauge, UMC control, and there's your starboard side instrumentation. Uh, wash down faucet here. LED lights underneath this top. This uh, large stainless grill with the side burner is is included. That's staying with this one. And let's head up to the third level. Now we've got the vinyl mesh canvas up here on the third level. That will last much longer than your traditional canvas. Patio furniture up here stay in. So here's your, uh, your other set of Kenwood speakers on this third level arch. And then you've got another pair of weightboard tower speakers up here as well. Track vision tracking satellite. I believe that's currently running on DirecTV. And again, all this blue canvas here was replaced 2014, 2015. I'll have that date um, on our website with the full list. And again, this current slip is transferable if you want to leave it right here. This view could be yours. That's going to start to wrap things up. I'm going to work our way down the front staircase. I'll walk around either side. Again, any questions, please contact us through our website. Oh, I do want to point out separate audio system upstairs here. That's your Kenwood AM, FM, CD, USB auxiliary stereo, a pile remote bass boost. That's going to control these speakers here on the upper level and the third level. But again, visit us at our website. Any questions, please contact us through our website. That again is www.yournewboat.com. This boat can be shown by appointment. This is going to wrap it up for on the house. Again, this is the 95 Stardust. 20 by 95 wide body aluminum hull houseboat for sale here on Norris Lake. You're not going to find another 95 model boat like this on the market, but again, it, it's not your typical 95 model boat because it was essentially refitted in 2010. I'm sure I missed some, um, some details. That's why we're always encouraging to go to our website to, to see the full list of everything. But I thank you for joining us.